Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this video I have for you a preview of the 4th Mod Schutzen Division, a new division available in the upcoming Murat update. Please remember that this is early access and was recorded on a preview build, so what you see may be subject to change. I'm going to go through all of the units and then we'll put together a quick deck. So to start off in the logistics tab, we have the MTLB munition, reasonable sort of light armoured supply truck. I think these are nice for using near the front line. Then we have the T813 munition truck, which does come with that extra supply. There is an MI8T munitions helicopter, which comes with 1,500 supply, 225 kilometers per hour speed. Then we have the leaders, so the BTR P, uh, 50 PU. Uh, there is the BMP 1KS P2, which comes with the Maliutka and the 14 penetration uh, gun there. It does have high explosive anti-tank, so it always does one damage, by the way. That's the one nice benefit of the BMP ones in this case. Uh, but it doesn't really matter for your leader. You don't really want it to be engaging anything directly. Um, then there's the MI9 leader and the SBW 40 P2K. So the best of the bunch here is probably just the SBW because it's fast and it's still armoured. So you're able to move it out of harm's way if artillery fire comes your way. Uh, so that's the logistics tab. Nothing crazy there. It's nice that you do have a variance of decent uh, supply vehicles though in like the T813 and also the MI8T. Let's move on to the infantry tab. So we've got the UAZ 469 SPG9. So this is just the Jeep with the SPG9 on the back. Uh, does now have better accuracy than it once did. I think at one point the devs accidentally made it like 19%, which is really bad. Now it's at 39%. Honestly, these might not be too bad to dot around for 30 points. You can also get the Bausham SBG9, which does have the exceptional stealth that these two-man squads have. So you can use this to hide it in tree lines and pick off things as well. And the nice thing about the Fauschum units is they do come in at the three vet. So you get the extra venerancy, which gives extra accuracy and therefore 43% accuracy in these, which is very nice. And they can also be brought in the MI2. So you can use that to get them to the front line as well. Then there is the PALR faggot squads. These guys have 16 penetration at 2473 meter range in this case 51 percent accuracy because of the extra veterancy there uh, but again just a note that exceptional stealth is very nice for these squads it does require recon to spot them otherwise they're just going to be eating all of your heavy armor for breakfast but these can also be brought in with the bmp1 btr and sbw70 and the UAZ there as well. Then there's the Fauschen variant. The Fauschen variant just costs more because you've got more base vet. I'm not really sure why else you would pick these over the standard one because you could just up vet these and then they'd be cheaper anyway. So yeah, it's a bit weird. Anyway, PALR Conquer squad. The Conquers, of course, being better uh, at 23 penetration at 2650 meter range this is a very nasty squad at 45 uh, accuracy but only one vet so you do miss out a bit on the vet accuracy but yeah otherwise a pretty good a to gm then we have the pioneer line so the pioneer Führer, which comes with the rpg uh, there's the standard pioneer squad which comes with those satchel charges and then there is the Pioneer with the Flamethrower. Now the Flamethrower, it takes a little while to aim, so do bear that in mind. Not, not quite as good as the Hand Flambertron that the uh, West Germans get. Then we have the East German Fauschmäger. Uh, these guys, their leader comes with the RPG-18. So a bit worse than the Pioneer Führer in terms of, well I say a bit worse, quite a lot worse. Five penetration makes quite a difference. Uh, then we have the Fauschmäger. In this case they come with seven AK-74s, the MG and the RPG 
uh, 7, so 80 weapon, really not on par with their West German counterparts. Then there's the Fauschimjäger Metis Squad, which is, you know, better for engaging light armor at a distance, but I'm not really sure if it's worth it because you get such low availability of them. Then we have the Modschützen. So you've got the Modschützen Führer, which has the RPG-18, same cost as the uh, Fauschimjäger. Just has worse accuracy. Actually, it has the same accuracy because they're both elite. Uh, then there's the Modschützen with the BTRs, which can be brought in this SPW-70. And the standard Modschützen that can come in with the BMP-1s and the BMP-1 SP-2, which has the Meljutka uh, HGM on it. So there you go. Nice thing about these Modschützen is they come in at two vet and you get nine on a card. So pretty nice indeed. Uh, then there's the Panzerjäger. These are the units with the double RPG 7VR, which has a 20 penetration. So really decent squad for just quickly picking off enemy armor at close range. And these can be brought in with the BMPs, the BTR-50, the SPW, and the W-50. Then there's a sort of another new squad here, which is the Modschitten MG squad, which has four AK-74s and three PKMs. So a bit better at distance. The idea of these is to destroy your enemy's cohesion and pin down enemy squads. So if you use these in support of your other infantry that's fighting at close range then it could work the the idea that they currently got with the infantry rework is that mgs are going to be good for suppression and then like assault rifles will be good at close range for damage uh, so we'll see if that kind of works out that way but yeah for now that's what this squad i assume is there for moving on to the artillery tab we've got kvostka as an option 100 points piece actually relatively you know cheap you can bring these in quite quickly and have a lot of them um, although there's only one card in this case uh, but there is two cards of Akatsaya which are a little bit stronger with that 2.28 HE on their main gun so there you go uh, then there's the RM70 that we've seen before I quite like these things because they fire salvos of 20 uh, which means that they tend to hit the mark quite well when a rocket artillery unit fires like its entire salvo at once what tends to happen is all of the rockets land like on the left first and then it slowly goes to the right and so it can make targeting a little bit unpredictable after you fire just a few rockets whereas in this case it kind of just lands the whole area uh, with the with the 20 rockets and then you do another 20 rockets and another 20 rockets and so on then we have the smirch uh, which does have some 300 millimeter uh, cluster rockets, uh, nine penetration, 53,000 meter range. So you're not going to run out of range with this thing. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried that it just doesn't fire fast enough to be effective, and it doesn't really do enough damage with each shot to you know kill stuff so what will happen is you'll fire this at someone and then they'll move their heavy armor out of the way before this even gets the kill which is unfortunate uh, anyway moving on to the tank tab tank tabs pretty lackluster here you only have t55s so there's a t55a Führer and the standard t55 which have the 14 penetration and uh, i think base accuracy is 30 plus vet in this case yeah, it's it's pretty pretty shocking. The 45 points though does provide you with a pretty good close range infantry support tank with the two machine guns. So there is that to consider. And there's also the Flampanzer here, which has pretty much the same gun stats. It just uh, removes the machine guns and puts the flamer in there, which is pretty good again, close range infantry fire support. Then we have the T-55 AM2. Uh, so that's the leader variant and then the standard variant these have upgraded armor you can see it goes from seven armor to ten front armor and extra side armor there as well the gun gets a little bit of an upgrade well quite a substantial upgrade in that the base accuracy goes up to 50 and they have 2120 meter range so very nice indeed uh, much better at helping take out 
lighter vehicles at range. So decent for attacking enemy sort of uh, transport vehicles and maybe challenging leopards somewhat. But yeah, they just don't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do okay. <laughs> they do okay. <laughs> but you, you probably want to outnumber your opponents because of rate of fire issues, I think. Um, in this case, you can get the T55AM2B as well, which comes with the Bastion missile that it can fire out of its gun, uh, which has 2,827 meter range with 18 penetrations. So you can plink these at enemy like heavy targets at range and hope for a side shot potentially. But generally, you're only going to be doing one one damage a hit in the front armor with these things. Then there's the SBW 4DP2 Conkers. Uh, this does have the Conkers HGM system. And with the mediocre stealth buff, you can make a bit more use out of these at range than you used to be able to. So something to consider now, but pretty expensive at 80 points still. Uh, recon tab. So a few new units here. We've got the Afkala PT-76B, which is just a P-76 or PT-76 with the uh, the D-52 D-56T gun. Sorry, which only has 10 penetration. Kind of similar to the Scorpion in its use. Like close range fire support for infantry to take out light armor and transports. And range, you know, good optics is probably not worth it alone. But here we have the BRM-1, which does have those exceptional optics. So similar to the Rasit, uh, the Fuchs Rasit, that is. This is, you know, the Soviet equivalent. So pretty nice. Then there's the BRDM-2. Cheap. Spammable recon, armored, can do a bit bit of damage to to light to you know. Uh, I was going to say light armored vehicles, but not really. Um, infantry, I guess, is probably the only real target for these. Then we have the Alfklader and the Alfklader Heavy. Seen these before. These are quite nice squads because they do have the RPG eighteen, and because they can forward deploy, you can get them into positions where you can uh, hit enemy transports coming down the road and stuff early on so that's what you'd probably use them for bring them in the truck or even bring them in the mi8t but the afghan are heavy just way better for the uh, extra five points with those extra couple men there so instead of having like four men you get seven men that's quite a substantial upgrade when it comes to engaging enemy recon infantry and also enemy squads although you do get way more availability of standard afghan then your standard little MI2. Very cool. Then we got some pretty interesting squads. So we got the Fauschim Einsatzgruppe and the Fauschim uh, Spring Tauke. These guys are East German troops that are dressed as Americans on purpose and use American weapons to infiltrate enemy lines. So. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got the Fauschim Einsatzgruppe, which has six M16s and two M249s with the law. It's an eight strength squad, can come in the MI2 or the W50, and does have exceptional stealth and the very good optics. And then there's the other squad, which comes with the M16A2, the M60, two M60 machine guns, that is, and then the satchel charges. So one is basically got AT and one's got satchel charges. And these M60s, they do slightly more damage against infantry. So this is a very anti-infantry based recon squad. But availability is pretty light. You can only get three squads of these. They are really cool though. Nice flavor unit. Um, then we have the AA tab. So the Strela 2M. This is a pretty lackluster anti-air weapon system or HE very low accuracy bearing in mind that that's being buffed by the 2 vet it's only up to 34% yeah then we have the curb M3 this thing has uh, 9 HE 
Uh, only 40% accuracy does kind of let it down though, especially if you consider ECM, so not the best AA in the world. But if it hits, it hurts. Uh, then there's Strela 10M, much more kind of reliable with the decent accuracy. Uh, 5 HE, it's going to two shot most aircraft. And then there's the Shilka. And these Shilkas, super popular at the moment. So definitely worth bringing in. Anything that flies over these, if you've got like two or more, it will definitely die. Like almost always die. It depends how close they get. Like, But if it flies, you know, well into the range of a shell cut, it's going to go down like an enemy, enemy aircraft. Heli tab. Let's have a look at these. So we've got the Mi-8 TV Rocket 1. This one has the layout of like 32, 32 and 32, 57 mil rockets. So that's just like those two and then those two and then those two. It's all right for 90 points, honestly. Rockets are actually pretty good uh, from helicopters. They do take out infantry in a good amount of time. And there's the Mi-24 DAA. So this comes with two of the air-to-air -air missiles. Only two, though, which is not ideal. Uh, with the 46% accuracy there at the 2VET, you only get one card of these, and there's only one at, like on the card. So, yeah, you can only get one of these guys. Not really worth it, unfortunately, but it does have 80 more rockets, which are pretty good. And then there's the Mi-24D with the Falanga and 57 mil rockets. Only 64 70 mil rockets. And then there's the Mi-24 D-82, which gets upgraded rockets. So it gets the 80 millimeter gun uh, rocket pods instead. This thing, you know, a bit, bit better. Then we have the Mi-8 MT, and this thing is crazy. It's got four gun pods with also 64... 57 mil rockets. So it's got basically a 50 cal and two 762 mil miniguns. Like this thing just rips. Or at least it looks like it rips. The actual guns themselves, these Gatling guns, don't do as much damage as you'd expect at the moment. But maybe they'll get buffed. I'm not sure. They can go through like half of their ammo to kill one squad. The rockets are actually way more effective at the moment. But yeah, a really awesome unit. But considering how close you have to get to like make this effective, I'd like to kind of see these guns buffed. Uh, then we have the Mi-8 TV Rocket 2, which is basically the same as the Rocket 1, but with more ammo. So in this case, you've got 64, 64, 64. And then we have the Mi-8 TB, which is Kind of interesting MA. It has the machine gun in the front. It has 192 57mm rockets, as well as the Maliotkas placed on the top of the, uh, I guess, like wing tips. <laughs> so if you call these wings, I don't know what you call them, um, like the struts, whatever. Um, yeah, you got Maliotkas on the top of those, so extra Age of Gems there as well. Uh, although kind of crappy Age of Gems. Then there's the Mi-24P AT, which comes with the Kokon uh, missile system and the 80, 80 mil rockets. 80 mil rockets are pretty good. And then there's the AT-2 variant, which comes with less rockets and more Kokons. In my opinion, more rockets is better at the moment. So this is probably a better choice than this, <laughs> which is kind of silly because the AT-2 variant costs way more. Uh, then we have the air tab. So Mi-21s. This case we have the Mi-21 with four 250 kilogram bombs. Then there is the MiG-21 with the 122 mil rockets and the 57 mil rockets. There's the MiG-21 air to air with the four infrared missiles and then the MiG-21 BIS AA-2 which has also the other air-to-air -air missiles which are longer 
actually no never mind these are also sort of shorter range uh, but yeah it has more so it can fire two at the same time this would be much better for taking down helicopters than say this variant because with the initial variant here you're going to be able to like chase enemy aircraft and then that's when you get multiple infrared missiles off whereas this is going to be firing like two at once and therefore be better you know, like taking out helicopters because you can have less time on target there is also the mig 23 mf aa uh, which does have a couple of the longer range air-to-air -air missiles with the 7067 meter range with 5 he now that's one thing that's nice about this as well this air-to-air -air missile it does have 5 he um but yeah 46 percent accuracy there uh, you have to bring these in at two vat so i mean not too bad reasonably fast only 10 percent ecm though all of these aircraft only having like 10 ecm base mig 23 mf pretty decent bomber six 500 kilogram bombs definitely good saturation on the target but suffers again from the 10 ecm and then you've got the mig 23 mf that has the kh 29d air to ground missiles tv guided missiles with the 30 penetration there at 50 percent accurate so there you go a little bit low on availability but a reasonably good price for what you're getting out of them if you kill a big tank with one of these it's totally worth it then we have the Su-22 M4s, so the HE variant, which comes with the four 5500 kilogram bombs. Benefit of the Su-22s is they have the extra ECM. They are a little bit slower than the MiGs, but that extra ECM is really nice. So maybe worth sacrificing a couple of bombs on the MiG-23 in order to get the better survivable aircraft there. There is also the cluster aircraft, which comes with the four 500 kilogram bombs again, but clusters. And then the napalm variant, again, four 500 kilogram bombs, but a napalm. All right, we got a new aircraft here. The MiG 29A has arrived. And look at that. Isn't it a beauty? Uh, it's got 30 millimeter frontal gun with the four infrared missiles with five HE, 60% accurate. And then the air-to-air -air missiles at long range, 8,481 meter range, 60% accuracy again. So this thing is actually really good on the offensive weapons front, but suffers a little bit in the ECM department. So yeah, really good if you can just get on the back of an enemy aircraft. If they, say, bring in their aircraft quite close to your spawn, you whip out one of these, you're probably going to be shooting them down pretty nicely. Then we have the Su-22M. 4K and the M4P. These are the air to ground TV guided missile variant. You get four in a card currently, and then the seed variant with the KH 28. So, yeah, SU 22 is really, really nice. All right, let's put together a quick deck. So, in the logistics tab, we'll go for the nice fast leader that can back cap our sectors. I'm going to bring in helicopters for munitions as well and i think i'm going to bring in the mtlb uh, which can kind of spread out and provide re uh, sorry it can provide uh, supply for stuff on the front line then for my infantry we are going to bring in the conquer squad for sure so we'll bring them in the uaz i might also bring in the Fausham SPG-9 and the SPG-9 trucks. <laughs> kind of seems silly to bring in so much of this, but I think they can definitely pay themselves off quite nicely in killing enemy transports and sniping enemy units at range. So other than that, I think we just go for a couple Fausham, or Mutchers, sorry, in the BMP one sb2s and i would bring in the fashion but their at weapon just sucks like the at weapon is the only reason that you bring them in the west german division these panzergers i'm gonna bring in as well to kill enemy armored targets we'll bring in the close range of tree and the pioneer flam and i might also bring in some standard pioneers Although standard Murchison might just be a better choice. 
because you just get eh, I was going to say you get more but you don't we'll bring in some of these as well in the trucks and we'll leave it at that for now artillery we're just going to bring in a card of and that's about it uh, it might also be worth bringing in a smirch at least tank tab we'll go for the T55As we'll also bring in the Flampanzer T055s I'm going to bring in the T55 AM2s and also a card of the Conkers. Actually, I might bring in both cards. In terms of the recon, we'll bring in the exceptional ground recon. I'm going to bring in the Fauschum Einsatzgruppe in helicopters. And then we'll bring in some of these boys in the ground vehicles. And then I'm also going to bring in the Alf Color Heavy in trucks. And maybe some standard Alf Color as well. We'll see, we'll come back to it. Definitely going to bring in both cars of Shulkers, we'll bring in some Strellas. And I will bring in some sort of spammable man pads. For the heli tab, we're going to go for, I think, the MI24E AT. I'm going to bring in these Gunner MI8s as well. And then I'm also thinking the MI8 TB. Or maybe the MI24 AT2s as well. They're pretty good. It's nice to get more than one. Let's just do MI8 T rocket ones because I can just reload them. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then for the air tab, we're going to do. SU-22 M4Ps and M4Ks. We're going to do MiG-29s. And then I'm thinking maybe the MiGs for bombers. And that is all we can get. Okay. So the reason I'm bringing these is because I think they'll be decent at close range, but I'm not sure if they're going to be that good. So I'm actually just going to trade them out for a unit of Valve Color so we've got better recon throughout the game. I'd really want to get some recon helicopters in here. They can be really, really useful. But I think we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, I think we'll do that. All right, so there you go. That is the fourth Modschutzen division type that in okay save it there so if we go back into the armory and we go to the fourth Mutschutzen there you have it pretty interesting deck kind of lackluster in comparison to the West German deck mainly because they don't really have much in the way of armor but they do definitely have some interesting units, especially in terms of the Einsatzgruppe and the, and the uh, Springtauker as well. Uh, the main thing here is going to be using the overwhelming amount of Modschützen you can bring in to win the infantry engagements and then control the ranged engagements with your Ata gems and your aircraft. I think that's the way that it's going to kind of work out. Also, the smirch might be something that can do some damage, but I haven't really had much luck with it yet. So we'll leave it there anyway. That's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my look at the 4th uh, Mudschutzen division. I, I'm interested to try it out. I think it's 
like with a bit more practice i think it could be pretty good especially with the range reworks and stuff for the infantry i think if the infantry combat feels better and infantry just feels better overall then divisions like this will definitely be more fun to play that's it yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye